Amber Sutter, the Chief Enlightenment Officer of Conscious Public Accountants and proud member of the Cal CPA, here to deliver success tips to help you pass the CPA exam. In my experience of coaching CPA exam candidates, I've noticed that all too often people initially pursue CPA licensure because someone else said it was a good idea. And it is a good idea. But what I've learned through the coaching experience is people really need to get in touch with why they are doing it for their own self, right? What is in it specifically for you? So if you're considering becoming a CPA, you want to ask yourself these sort of self-coaching questions. First off, you want to imagine and understand who are the clients or the people or communities that I want to be able to serve when I'm a CPA? Next, you want to ask yourself, what are the unique gifts that I can bring to others, whether it be clients, the profession at large? And then ask yourself, once I'm a CPA, what will I be entrusted to do that I can't do now? Said differently, what do those three letters make possible? And then finally, you might want to go really long term and broaden your horizon and ask yourself, what is your legacy going to look like? And how does becoming a CPA fit into that vision? Many years ago, I created these questions in an article that I penned for the Cal CPA magazine titled Love and the CPA Exam. And clearly, we love different things. We love our family. We love our friends. We love our pets. But usually when we talk about the CPA exam, we're not using the word love. It tends to be quite rigorous, but we can identify those things that we love about the work when we can identify what we want to love about the impact that we have and the difference that we want to make. It really turns things on in terms of the internal motivation. So your reasons for becoming a CPA should be so much greater than doing it for the opinions of others, right? If I'm coaching someone, I say, why are you going to do it? Well, I need it to get promoted. That's for your work, not for your own self, right? So you really want to learn how to articulate the importance of the designation and the value of the des designation and what it's going to create for you. Because when you don't, you become at risk of feeling overwhelmed under the pressures of others, right? You want to really change it from I'm pressured by the external world to I'm internally motivated to do this for myself and my own life. So what I want to leave you with is the power that the CPA designation has created for my own life, which is far greater than I could have ever imagined when I was taking the exam. First off, let's talk about the financial impact. I'm a small business owner, and because I became a CPA, which required me to get experience and also to take the exam, I really had to learn a lot about business. And that acumen has created so much financial stability and having a career and a job that I love. I'm able to have impact, right? It's enabled me to have this designation and credibility that has allowed me to become a thought leader. And on one, thought, on one platform alone, I've had 20,000 people listen to me, which feels sort of weird, but the designation opened the doors to become a speaker. The next thing I wanna share with you is the impact that it's had on my family, which has been so much greater than I could have ever imagined, right? I'm the responsible accountant in the family. I end up being everybody's, um, you know, in, involved in their estate and counsel and helping them through things. But specifically in the past year, I discovered that my dad was a victim of elder fraud. Someone had spent $80,000 in two months. And you know how I figured it out? It was this old memory of the fraud triangle that I had to learn for the CPA exam. Now, it wasn't a great experience for my family and our dad, but let me tell you, when I talked to a certified fraud examiner and I told him I was a CPA, I had a ton of credibility. I was able to recover all my dad's money. And that is more than the designation could have ever provided that I would ever imagine. And then finally, community. I've recently been able to be the treasurer of my daughter's school, a school that has been just so meaningful for her and such a pillar of strength in our family. And I get to give back and help the school really reorient from almost being a growing concern to having financial stability. 
The CPA is definitely challenging. And I definitely had moments in my own journey going, why am I doing this? But when I imagined what was possible for my life, that just filled me up and I was able to continue with my studies. Thank you. And on behalf of Cal CPA, we wish you all the best with your studies.